Class, we have a new student today. His name is Swingley. Oh, Swingley! I just said that! Now take the open seat next to uh, Dylan Beekler. <gasps> no, it's not that bad. I sat next to Dylan last week. <laughs> I'm Swingly! I could draw a map of the United States from memory. Want to see me hold my breath until I pass out? Tell me, what cemetery should I put you in? I assume Jewish? Okay, I'll show you. <gasps> Whoa, you're really turning blue. You could totally die. <laughs> Dylan really wet the bed this time. <gasps> Dylan wet the bed! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! Start dating. Schmedrick so hard. Oh my god. You have a crush. You want to be all No, I don't like that spaz Swingly. I just think you would make the perfect human shield, that's all. Silence! For I already found the ideal candidate. Keith Carson! My sister's douchey boyfriend? You only want him in the cult because you think I'll invite you to a stupid birthday party. Dylan, this is no common birthday shindiggery. It's Keith 617! If I get invited and go to that party, I'll be so cool, ice cream will eat me and get a headache. Sorry, Golan, for I hereby use my veto gnome to nullify your nomination. <gasps> I wouldn't use that gnome if I were you, bedwetter. What? <laughs> I don't want the bed. Right, right. Grant, can you come here real quick? Always good to see you, Grant. Put it there! <laughs> Get out of here, you piece of garbage. I love you. Son of a bitch! Either you abstain from using the veto gnome on Keith, or I'll tell everyone that you wet the bed, including your precious Swingly. Fine, you can have Keith! <laughs> Keith is gonna be in the cult! Ah, yeah! <laughs> Let's go over your 617 guest list. Right, we got DJ Oak Groove to keep the beats going. We got the mayor for political reasons. Call Gabe in case any of the balloons get loose. And most importantly, Class Clown Kevin for the laughs. Oh no, Class Clown Kevin OD'd last night. <laughs> oh Kevin, funny till the end. But Alexis, everybody needs a funny guy. <laughs> Big, the tires got all silly. Knutson Jr., you are invited to be the third testicle in the scrotum that is Dolan's Army! Prepare to face the ten torturous... Screw that! You're in, Keith! 
Uh, what? Now, Keith, hey, is there anything you'd like to invite me to in return? A certain party you might be throwing, or... Uh... You want to be invited to my 617? Yeah, right. Like we'd ever invite you two dildweebs to Keith 617! It'll be so sick, it'll be on the local news. Now, if you'll excuse us, Alexis has to patch up a tire. I told you we should have gone with Swingley. All you did was embarrass yourself, Golan. I embarrass myself? Ha! Huh, you're the one who wants the bed! Wait, did you just say that Dylan wets the bed? Dylan, <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, I thought you stopped wetting your bed at 5. She must have meant 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, you just got smoked. <laughs> oh, Golan, you are way funnier than class clown Kevin. May he rest in peace. <gasps> Alexis, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Looks like we found a new funny guy for your party. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Who could it be? It's Keith with an invite to the six, seven, team. It's gonna be sick! It's gonna be tight. The world to please talent that will see you that night. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes! Yes! A million times, yes! A million times and one yes. A million times two and yes. Swingly, it looks like you'll never be my human shield. Unless I stop wetting the bed! Ah! The bed is soaking wet! Dylan! You peed the bed again! What? No, I'm not even in the bed. Oh, really? Then why is the bed wet? And why is my urethra wet, huh? And why is my bladder empty? Oh, my God! <gasps> you mocked me for wetting the bed when all this time it was you! Dylan, please don't laugh at me. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna laugh. I'm just gonna tell Keith... <laughs> Give me that! Hey! Please, no! Dylan, I'll do anything, anything! Fine, I'll keep my mouth shut if you let Swingley into the cult. What? Swingley? But he looks so weak. I mean, does he even lift? Decision time, Colin. What's it gonna be? Hello, this is Keith. Pick your message after the beat. This is Fred. He's your exact blood match. You're gonna be cured. You're gonna. Felicitations, lowly scum. You have the honor of being abducted in the name of Golan the Insatiable. You're Dylan from school. I think you're pretty. Silence. This is strictly business. Am I prettier than Mackenzie B? Answer me. Never mind. There's no time. I like it in here. So, what do you think of the setup, Dad? Junior, need I remind you that ever since the Knutson family fled Knudladesh, every single Knutson 617 has made it on the local news, and I don't see anything here that is local newsworthy. Take my advice, get yourself a wheelbarrow, fill it to the brim with cocaine. Mr. Knudson, Keith has a better idea. He's taking a 617 to a whole other dimension. The third dimension. Uh, that's right, Dad. My entire party is going to be presented in 3D. Ooh, huh? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, I hope to God you two morons know what you're doing. Because if your 617 does not make the local news, then you're dead to me. Hey, hey, hey boss, how can I help you? Hey, Knudsen, your son 617 going to make the local news? I'm trying, sir. Well, he better, Knudsen, or you're dead to me. Is your employee son 617 going to make the local news? I'm trying, honey. Well, he better, sweetie. Or you're dead to me. I'm trying, boo-boo. I get kidnapped a lot. Here, here, Colin. I dutifully present to you Zwingli for initiation. Hey, Dylan, are these sneakers too cash for Keith's party or just cash enough? Huh? I think they're just cash enough. Um, Golan, I'm trying to indoctrinate Swingley into your slavedom over here. Uh, that's now? Okay, fine. Swingley, uh, to prove your loyalty and stuff, um, do some jumping jacks with this cookie in your butt cheeks. Well, now I'm starting to think these sneakers are too cash. You guys are so much nicer than the last couple who kidnapped me. <laughs> One, two, Now, three, hear me out, Dylan. 
If I get Keith a shark tooth necklace, he'll think I'm cool for a day. But if I get him a whole shark... Colin, stop being such a douche! You know what? Since you're not gonna help, I'll just go ask Carol about the shark. If you're not gonna take this seriously, then I'm gonna tell Keith that you went to bed! It's the bed? Swingly, <laughs> do not laugh. <laughs> you went the bed. <laughs> 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 That's not Swingly anymore. I'm gonna tell everyone that Golan wants the bed! <laughs> <laughs> and as your shame grows, so will I! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh, it's uh, getting late, and I got a couple pre-party stops to make, so why don't you just brick him up in the wall and seal away this secret forever? <laughs> that would be so pimp of you. Hey, listen, Dylan. If you want to say goodbye in a biblical sense, you got about an hour, hour and a half tops before the flesh gets all gamey. Goodbye, Swingly. I'm Swingly! Swingly, you're alive? You're alive! Oh, that's cool. I didn't I didn't care. I don't care. I passed out from low blood sugar, but my body absorbed that cookie, so now I'm okay. Can you get me out of here? Sure, hold on, I'll just Wait a minute. How do I know you're really you and not the monster? If I were the monster, could I tap dance like this? Well, even if you are the monster, I just gotta see those fancy feet. Uh oh. I'm gonna tell everyone that Golan wets the bed! <laughs> Well, look at you go! You're a fantastic little dancer! Thank you, Mrs. Beekler! <laughs> Keith's party's gonna be so sick! Super exclusive, too. Only the coolest people get to go. You could be my plus one if you were minus 20. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Whoa, I almost forgot Keith's awesome present. Oh, yeah! Swingly, stop! Oh, what the hell, Dylan? All you gotta do is bury the dead kid, but I guess your boner got in the way. I do not like Swingly. <laughs> Prepare to die, Shamunculus! Hey, Colin, go on note. His eyes aren't red. He's not the shame monster anymore. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone, Golan wets the bed. Oh no, the shame monster can jump from host to host. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Golan, wait, don't bash his stupid head in. Uh. Look, he's in the pigeon now. I'm going to tell everyone that Golan wets the bed. Ah! Grandpa, get him. Oh, great! The shamunculus pigeon has gotten away! Thanks a lot, Dylan! He could be going anywhere! If he gets his power from your shame, then he's probably going to the one place he can embarrass you the most! I know where that is! Keith's party! Keith's party? Oh, I'll be so embarrassed! It'll create a shamunculus so powerful, it will destroy us all! Then we shall go to Keith's party and kill the shamunculus before he embarrasses you! Yeah! We're going to Keith's party! I do not understand. Everybody's wearing their 3D glasses. Why is it the local news here? Because your party sucks! Dad? Now, Junior, I want you to see something. Whoa. This used to be my biggest disappointment. But now, now it's you. It's still early. The local news can still show up, Dad. Dad? I'm not a dad. I can't be. Because I don't have a son. <sighs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> oh, God. Hurry, come on! We need to find the person with the red eyes and kill it! But we can't see anyone's eyes! They're all wearing 3D glasses! Keith's party's in 3D? Awesome! And don't even try to talk me into seeing it in 2D like you did with gravity, Dylan! Everyone else got a completely different experience! Show yourself, Shamunculus! <laughs> Damn it, blue eyes! Come on, everybody, we have to work fast! <laughs> Hello, local news. I want to report a party in 3D. It's crazy over here. Uh, give it up, Alexa. We're shutting the party down. But, Keith. Shut it down. Keith. Oh. Keith, I got you a shark. We can rip out its teeth and make necklaces for each other, huh? It's too late, Golden. The party's over. Everyone, go home and hug your fathers while you still got them. And please. Deposit your 3D glasses into the bins on your way out. Oh, no. Keith hated my present, and I ruined the party. Now I'll never be cool. My special day is ruined. Everything is all about me. Uh, uh. Aquamarine, no. Uh, blue green, no. Ooh. Burn sienna, beautiful, but no. I'm sorry I brought you into this, Sharky. I think it's time for you to fly home. Go on. Take to the air with your small fleshy wings. That's it. You, you almost, here you go. You almost got it. Keep flapping. With these 3D glasses, this shark looks like it's right here in front of me. Ah! Ah! It's so three dimensional! So three dimensional! Ah! A shark is attacking the party! Should we call 911? No way. Call the local news! at the Knudsen residence where a shark has turned one healthy get together into a sick ass rager? The son of a bitch actually did it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. I will not be signing those adoption papers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to give my son his birthday present, an empty wheelbarrow. <laughs> well, Alistair, it looks like it's back to the musical orphanage for you. I had a chance, it went away Easy come, easy go I'll try another day I'll try another day Keith, reporter number two with local news here How did your party get so sick? Well, bro, it wasn't on me In fact I have to thank somebody who earned their cool badge tonight double time. Golan the Invincible. Golan, come on, get up here. Golan, what? Golan, <laughs> no, Golan. stop it, really? Dude, I've taken everyone's glasses off. None of these douchebags are the shame monster. Not now, Dylan. I'm about to get my official cool confirmation from my best bro, Keith. <gasps> it's Keith. He must be the shame monster. Out of my yeah. way, loser. And here he is. The coolest guy I know, Golan the Big Whip. <laughs> What's that now? That's right, everyone. Golan went to the bed. <laughs> Golan the Insatiable, more like Golan the Incontinent. No, no, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. I'm so ashamed. more than a human shield. I was just too embarrassed to admit that I actually liked you. Like, like, liked you, okay? So shut up, you're stupid, I liked you. And I'm not embarrassed to admit it. What the? The shamunculus is shrinking! By not being ashamed. I weakened it, Colin. Whoa, ho, ho. look at the little detective figuring out the big case. Everyone look, the monster feeds.
Everyone's off shame. So just admit your embarrassing secrets and strip it of its power. I got this. I'm not ashamed to admit that my back is covered in anti-Semitic tattoos. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say I've got a partially chewed honeycomb in my pants. Oh, yo, lay it all out there, buddy. And I'm not ashamed to say that Dylan is really my daughter. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit that I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, but Captain Crunch as my Lord of Flavor. <laughs> I feed my dog his eye boogers. I don't tip women. I found a loophole and legally married a tree. Oh, I'm scared of ladies. Ah! Golan, everyone's admitted their shame but you. You have to admit you pee the bed and destroy the shamunculus once and for all, okay? Uh, I, uh, uh, I stall, stall. Golan, you don't have to be ashamed. Ugh. Fine. I wet. What? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't admit a damn thing. And now I know all your secret shames, which makes me the coolest. <laughs> I learned nothing from this experience. Nothing. Yay. Go in the insatiable wind again. And now I have a boyfriend. That's great. I have a boyfriend too. Oh no! You just got smoked! <laughs> this is real, and I'll get home somehow. Cause I don't wanna be. You're gonna get diarrhea again.